it's time to take a look at the standings today on SB Baseball Podcast. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the SB Baseball Podcast. I'm your host, Alan, and it's time to take a let's take a stroll around the league. We're going to take a look at the standings, get a little, give a little update on it. Of course, we've also got a couple series coming up this week, some some big series. So let's uh, let's take a look at everything. So let's start things off here in the AL. We're going to start in the AL East. You got the Yankees leading that division at 19 and 10. Uh, the Orioles are a game back at 17 and 10 right now. Uh, the Yankees and the Orioles are kicking off a four-game set this week, so that, that's 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 a series to watch. That's what I'm going to call a high-priority series. Make sure you keep your eyes on it because you're going to see a lot of really good baseball there. I think uh, should be a really fun series. Uh, third in the in the AL East, you got the Red Sox right now. They're three games back at 16 and 13. Followed by the Blue Jays at 14 and 15, and the Rays bringing up the rear right now at 13 and 16, and they just got done getting swept by the Chicago White Sox. That's right, boys and girls. The Rays just got swept by the White Sox. That was crazy. Um, let's head on over to the the Central. In the AL, you got the Guardians leading the way there. They're up two and uh, two and a half games on the Royals. Uh, the Guardians have been a really Big surprise team this year. They're 19 and nine right now, uh, followed by the Royals, who is another team that's kind of come out of nowhere in that in that division. Uh, they're 17 and 12 right now. Uh, they're currently on a two-game losing streak though, because uh, they just lost two straight to the Tigers, who are right behind them at 16 and 12. Who the Tigers have been playing some pretty good ball this year, considering they've been bad for a while now. Uh, the Twins are four and a half back. They're 14 and 13 right now. But they're on a seven-game win streak right now. They've won seven straight, eight of their last ten. Um, and they've got the White Sox this week, who are behind them. And the White Sox are 13 back in the Central. They're 6-22. and 22. They just got done doubling their win total for the season. As I already talked about, they just got done sweeping the Rays. So now they, they're taking on the White Sox. you got two teams that are on winning streaks who have been looking. I mean, the White Sox looked good in the last three games. What can you say? You know, uh, over here in the West, we've got the Seattle Mariners are a half game up on the Rangers right now. Um, Mariners are 15 and 13 and the Rangers are 15 and 14 right now. Uh, your, your Mariners, they're, they're seven and three in their last 10 and the Rangers are five and five. The Rangers have been a little bit shaky here as of late. So, uh, and then behind them, which is surprising to everybody, you got the Oakland A's. They're only three and a half games back right now at 12 and 17. Um, they're four and six in their last 10. The Angels have been, they started off rough. They started doing good and now they're back, back to doing bad. They are on a four game losing streak. They're 10 and 18 right now, five games back of the Mariners and they're one and nine of their last 10. Uh, the Houston Astros just got done winning two straight out in Mexico. They had a short little series there in Mexico. Uh, they're currently sitting at last place in the West. With the, it's a huge surprise to everybody. Uh, they're nine and nineteen right now, three and seven of their in their last ten. They haven't been looking good. Hopefully now you know they they went down to Mexico, got a couple wins under their belt. Hopefully they're hoping to kind of rebound and get, and get back at it. Uh, let's head on over to the National League. National League, you got the Braves on top of the National League East. They're a game and a half up on the Phillies. They're at nineteen and seven right now. Uh, they've won eight of their last ten. And then you've got the Phillies behind them at nineteen and ten. They're on a four-game win streak, and they've won eight of their last ten. So uh, at third place, you've got the Mets right now at fourteen and thirteen. Uh, they're five and a half back. They're five and five in their last ten. Then you look at the Nationals, who are on a three-game win streak right now, 13-14. and 14, They're six and a half back. And then bringing up the rear in the NL East is the Miami Marlins at 6-23. and 23. They're on a six-game losing streak. They they went up on the – I think they were playing the Padres yesterday, and they were up 7 nothing, and they ended up losing like 15-8 to eight or something like that, 15-9. Um just, just blowing it. But that's what you do when you're a bad team, right? You, you blow leads, uh, you choke, you do all of that. They're two and eight in their last ten, so things just—they're not looking good down there in Miami. 
And let's head on over to the Central. Uh, the NL Central, you've got the Brewers leading that right now, which they're actually on a two-game losing streak. Uh, they've won six of their last ten. They're 17-10 and 10 overall. And then just a half game behind them, you've got the Cubbies. They're 17-11, and 11, also on a two-game losing streak, also won six of their last ten. And then in third place, you've got the Cincinnati Reds at 15-13. and 13. They're two and a half back. Um, they're six and four in their last ten. So your top three in that in that division in the Central are all six and four in their last ten. Uh, next up, you've got the Pirates coming in at fourteen and fifteen. They're four games back, uh, and then the Cardinals bringing up the rear at thirteen and fifteen. They're four and a half back. So that's where we're looking at there. And then let's head on over to the NL West, where you've got the Dodgers leading the way. I mean, Mookie Betts is hitting like almost four hundred this year for the Dodgers. It's insane. Uh, Mookie Betts is definitely on a tear right now. The Dodgers are 18 and 12, uh, six and four in their last ten. They did lose last night, uh, which snapped like a six or seven game win streak. They were just on fire. Uh, the the Giants are 14 and 15, uh, three and a half back, um, six and four in their last ten. Uh, behind them is the Padres. The Padres are 14 and 17. They're four and a half back, and they've lost four straight, and they've lost three of their last ten. Uh, they're three and seven in the last ten right there. Uh, Diamondbacks are 13 and 16. The Diamondbacks are a weird team because it's either they score like 15, 16 runs, or they score two. Like, it's it's very all over the place. They're a plus 29 right now. They've scored 154 runs. They're one of the highest scoring teams in the league, but... They just it's it's win big or 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 not at all, right? Uh, and then bringing up the rear there in the West, we got the Colorado Rockies coming in at seven and twenty-one, ten games back. They've lost two straight and they're three and seven in their last ten, so things aren't looking too too great for them. Uh, a couple series to look forward to this week. Again, I already talked about the Yankees and the Oreos. Uh, they got a four-game set coming up starting today. Uh, you got the Braves and the Mariners starting a three-game series. That should be a lot of fun. Um, outside of that, you got the Cubs and the Mets. They're going to be playing. And um, anything else that, that really sh- gets my interest? Not really. Um, yeah, nothing else is really grabbing my eye right now. But that's kind of how everything's falling right now. Uh, if you if we look overall for the league right now, you got the Guardians with the best record in the league at 19 and 9, uh, 679 win percentage. The Yankees are a half game behind them at 19 and 10. Uh, the Oreos 17 and 10. The Royals 17 and 12. So if you, if you kind of look, that's that's what you got going on in the American League over there in the National League. Um, you've got the Braves at 19 and 7 with a 731 win percentage. The Phillies at 19 and 10. Brewers 17 and 10. The Cubs 17 and 11. Dodgers 18 and 12. Uh, they may have, they've got a couple more games in hand, so that's why they're uh, a little bit lower, even though they got the more wins. They're at the 600 win percentage right now. Uh, as far as streaks are concerned, let's take a look here. I think the Twins are at the top of that class right now. Again, they, they're on a seven game win streak going right now uh winning seven straight and then after them you got the phillies who have won four straight then we've got several teams that have won three straight being the nationals the white Sox. um as far as losing streaks are concerned let's just go ahead and take a look at the marlins they've lost six straight the padres have lost four straight and the angels have lost four straight so that's really i got for you guys today uh just want to take a little stroll down take a look at the standings to see how everything was going Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. Do me a favor, guys. Leave a comment, like, tell a friend. As always, guys, I'm Alan. This has been your MLB standings update for, we're looking at April 29th, 2024. As always, I'm Alan. Talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thank you for listening to the SB Baseball Podcast.